So it's Halloween and it's ERI, so obviously we're going to be levitating a uh, pumpkin with my magnetic track and a superconductor. So I've got, I'm going to stick my polystyrene insert with the superconductor in the pumpkin, but first I need to uh, cool it down with the liquid nitrogen and my trusty tray, um, and then we're going to play around and see what happens. I love the face. He looks. Yeah. Just looks like he's really loving it. <laughs> so I try with the hat again. <laughs> so the reason the pumpkin is. Uh, levitating like this is because of the superconductor that's that's in it and the very strong magnets in the track. Um, when you move a conductor in a magnetic field you get currents set up in that conductor that, that um, to some extent resist the motion that you're trying to create. So if you were to take a piece of copper and drop it onto this track, very briefly there would be some current set up in that copper that would that would resist that motion so um, it, would, it would fall slightly more gently than you might expect it to. When you do the same thing with a superconductor, because it conducts electricity perfectly, that effect doesn't go away. The currents are set up and they keep on going. So it resists that, it resists that motion permanently. So as the superconductor tries to drop towards the track, it sets up currents on the surface of that superconductor that resist that, and so it doesn't fall all the way to the track. But similarly, if you try and remove it from the track, you set up different currents that resist that motion as well. So it's kind of locked in place and will follow the track round, even round, even round the corners. So if you want a more detailed explanation of what was going on here, um, then you can watch this video. Um, and if you enjoyed what you saw here, then uh, you can subscribe and happy Halloween.